Hey everyone, Rich on Ships here. Today we're going to be digging into the Dark Dimension planning tools that are inside MSF.GG. Uh, we're going to start off here with our roster screen. Um, so I have another video on how to use Mantis. Um, there's, if you go into their Discord, they have plenty of different uh, instructional uh, tabs and everything on how to set up your roster inside here and everything. I'll put the link in the description as well. But we're going to get started and jump right into it. One of the benefits of this versus, let's say, some of the spreadsheets, um, now that there's a lot of really good spreadsheets uh, and a lot of really good tools out there, the reason why I like this is I'm using Mantis to constantly update my roster, so my roster is constantly updated. Um, the other thing is it's taking in my character's uh, information into account all the time. So it's just one less thing I have to think about, one less thing I have to do. Uh, the spreadsheets do have some benefits, but to me, where I'm already using msf.gg as much as I am, this is a much simpler way and a much easier way for me to do this. Now the first step here is we're going to go into the inventory, right? So inside the inventory, this is, you know, same kind of concept as uh, you would have on some of the spreadsheets. Um, you enter in the amount of gear that you have. Um, if you are using Mantis, Mantis will actually automatically collect this for you. Um, it has it's not always perfect um, there is an export option in mantis but it's still good to kind of double check and make sure you have your your gear entered in here it kind of goes through all the basics you know, different um, energies most of the time there's a very good chance that you are using this tool and using this inventory collection thing to for dark dimension so usually the blue and the green gear isn't as important you should have pretty some excess of it um even some of the purple gear maybe not as important but i always double check um this gear here and make sure it's correct and we will go in straight into it now so if you look here um i am currently in cosmic of dark dimension 4. so as you see these four characters that are selected here i have already brought up they're already meeting the requirements uh, same thing with these four and you see gear requirements met if i had taken off uh, one of those characters long shot and i scroll down here to the cosmic section and let's say if i pick bishop i would scroll back up and it would tell me here um, specifically how much uh, bishop would need for each of these things right now if i scroll over it it says i own 43 of the judas bullets here and i need 61. So very very basic it's a good visual representation here um but if we put long shot back in we will see where did he go there he is and it goes back to having the gear requirement met so when we move on to city um you know for instance my symbiote spider-man anti-venom and well scream is almost done but if i come down here and cover over the gear it's going to tell me who uses that uh who uses that gear uh, what's needed? Um, well, well, I haven't updated my msf.gg, so it's showing anti-venom. Not there yet. Um, so it's showing us all the gear here, who's using that gear, who needs it, and the total amount of how much is needed here. And then, of course, we have the final legendary, which I'm a little ways away from. And if you want to know the total amount of gear for all of this all the way across, you have this little section down here, total re materials required. So this will tell me... Once again, how many alien spores left? Uh, I have left to to farm. How many each of each of these gear that's uh, down here? And I think if I yeah, and if you scroll over it down here, it's still going to highlight who needs the specific gear that is still pending down here. Now, uh, this little layout here, I think it's very it's very easy to use, super convenient. Uh, but you can come here and you can collect. You know, let's say if we wanted to add Domino in here. Can add her in there and it adds her gear into here and then starts taking uh, calculates it in over here as well same thing for any of them and it's broken down into global cosmic city and legendary so super convenient um, and then we're going to switch over to dd3 so i just did a bunch of random characters um, so if you look here this is telling me it's taking into account you know it doesn't have the legendary tag because there's doesn't exist in dd3 but global cosmic and city and it's going to do the same exact thing tell me how much gear is needed for each of them and what's missing and the red means i don't have enough so this is where the one thing can get difficult if you are going into dd3 i mean i normally don't put in the the 
the purple gear but if you are going into d3 it might be useful um and the other thing too is if you are bringing somebody up from a lower level um if you are inside the dd4 planner you will see uh, like if we bring up so domino is pretty high for me so if we bring up somebody who like aim researcher you're going to see all this other gear is accounted for in here so if you want to use the dd4 planner it will also take into account the dd3 items and then of course you have the dd2 dd2 planner which will show you the different items in here right and after that um yeah like i said there's there's a few benefits of using this over some of the spreadsheets but felt like i would just do a quick video on showing this off and showing uh it helped me quite a bit so hopefully it helps you and until next time guys